today I'm just going to draw a TV of this little guy and this is going to be a full length video because if I were to speed it up with these animations um well you understand where that would go so music is there to take up background noise and I have a perfect pose for this little fella because uh 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 you know I made the arm arm too long. I guess we're drawing this kid at an angle. I have been thinking about how to construct bodies in art, and a lot of it has to do with understanding it in a 3D perspective, in my case. And I have an easier time imagining it as such. Well, the body is too big and long, so let's fix that. There we go. It's stubby and it fits what it is. It's, 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 it's cheapy. And I also increase head size uh, uh, to increase moe, moe levels. I swear to God, I've heard this. Uh, wait, I downloaded this. That's why. If you're ever curious about the music I use in the backgrounds of these videos, it's coming from the YouTube audio library. And this character has got some messy hair. Oh, and glasses. That's what the eyes are. I, I forgot about this character for so long. That is too close together. And then I need to roundify the head, the chin, the jaw. Because, you know, chibi... And I guess he wears cordigan. That looks like what I drew. I guess doing a full length video will help people understand the process of, um, you know. I want to roll his pants up. Okay, so I have a little, uh, like angled chibi. Look at that. He's gonna fall over. So I'm switching it around and actually I think I just need to angle the body so I'm gonna take that with the selection the what do you call this thing something wand okay well I didn't mean to do that but I did it and I'm gonna use it and I don't remember what the original orientation was so we're going with this
and now I'm gonna line, which has been for the last few months my favorite part of the process. Now I have to decide which size of brush I want to use for lining. This brush is really just like the default Psy brush as far as I can remember. But I am using Psy too. Speaking of, I think it was yesterday, I found out that Psy 2, currently at its newest version, has a symmetry ruler, which blows my mind because I've been thinking about that. Mostly for things like bases and uh, bases. I really thought that I would have more things to list. I guess I should specify that if I make a funny fart sound, I'm sitting on a yoga ball rather than a chair. And I really like it. I bounce. I bounce. I guess that funny fart sound was more so my uh, hand. I wear those gloves that help not reduce smudging, I guess, on your tablet screen. And I really like them because I have super sweaty hands. But because my hands are very, very sweaty, I also have to um, stuff my gloves with paper towel. Which is kind of, I want to say it would be embarrassing, but I'm not embarrassed. It's just, it's too funny. That's just really funny to me. But it is what it is. I have some people comment on the speed at which I will draw and render what I will render. And this looks pathetic. And I think it mostly has to do with my impatience. But I am also forgetful. So it's a chaotic mix. I want to add another flared hair over here. I'm going to unround the cheeks just a little. It looks uneven. I see why. That is better. Because this little guy has some messy hair, I'm gonna add some tufts of hair. I'm waiting for like a really unfortunate choice of song to play in this playlist, which again is just YouTube audio library tracks that are royalty free. I would hope. YouTube will find out for me. I don't think I'm gonna add the pupils, you know? It's 
that even? No, it's not. I am irresponsible with my lines. I will tell you that. I guess I'll put the nose lower. I am also obsessed with the selection tool. It is a cheat for me. Oh my god. Twister! Twister! What? Okay. We're good. That was my cat. I really like to line. I really like to line. Did I? Okay, no, I didn't. I've been wanting to make more YouTube videos, and I want to talk about art, but I'm unsure of what topics to discuss, because I don't want to, um, talk about something that I can't relate to. I did like talking about commission stuff. Oh, actually, because I'm recording the full-length video of this, I can probably go into detail about colors. Oh, I like colors. I like to color my art. So, I don't know what to call the pants that this guy's wearing. 
like baggy. They get a little rolled up. They're a little rolled up at the bottom. I guess I should add wrinkles here. This sounds like um a Halloween song. And I guess like flat sneakers. I think the head is too much hair, so hold on. I guess I just need to redraw this part. I think I need to do it again. And now for the cardigan. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Merry Christmas, everybody. Forgot to say it at the beginning of the video. Ooh. I had the nose off center. And now I have to give him random acne spots. Oops, that was what I'd like to call my bad. I forgot the eye bags. Actually, hold on. I just flipped it. Glasses.
I just wanted funny colors in the glasses. Now for the hair. I want it to be pinker. Oh man, I forgot to erase some hairlines. There we go. And that is too blue. I want to put that on top actually and I want to change it to a redder color. I need to stretch it. And I'm gonna do this. Whoops, that was the wrong tool. That seems normaler. Oh man. Uh, gray cardigan. That's probably the darkest of the clothing outside of the shirt. Okay. This is tedious. Now I need to color some lines. I'm gonna make it more saturated. Okay. Now I'm going to use a Gaussian blur on the lines. And now that I've done that, I'm going to... Oops, my, my pen likes to disconnect. I'm going to use an exclude filter on this layer clipping group above the folder and I'm going to use a dark blue and I'm gonna do another one on top I'm gonna to do screen and I'm gonna make it a little dark pink maybe dark red dark red now I'm gonna do overlay maybe and see what that looks like turn down the opacity and I like that now I need to give this fella a background and I will use the eye bag color. I will use ruler, eclipse, ellipse. I always read it as eclipse. Ellipse, circle. I'm gonna fill it in. Put it behind you. And I'm gonna move over here. Over here. I'm gonna do another screen layer actually. And I'm gonna do a lighter color. I'm gonna do up. Maybe reddish, maybe less saturated, like that. And I need to change this color, let's see. I think that works. Whoops. And what is the darkest color here? This. Oops, that is not what I meant to select. I wanted to do a clipping group. And I should probably make the speech bubble a little smaller. I 
I don't like it. I'm gonna redraw it. There we go. And I'm gonna do another Gaussian blur. And then I'm gonna add my watermark. While you are resizing, you may hold down shift so that it keeps a uniform um, size or resolution rather. And I will show you what I mean. Resizing, you can make it so many shapes. If you hold down shift, it keeps it the original shape it was. And I guess oh, I don't want to place it on the speech bubble. Place it in the hair, I guess. Um, I'm going to call it quits. Good night. Uh, Merry Christmas.